scotch, bourbon and fried. If they like a bottle, they'll tell you why. Hey, hey everybody! Welcome to an all new Trendy and C. It's unboxing time. We've got something fun. We're happy to be back at Trendy and C headquarters. It's my favorite time of the week, unboxing time. Absolutely. I love unboxing whiskey. We, um, we just love it. Absolutely. So uh, today we have something very cool. Yeah. We have uh, Legent, two true legends, okay. uh, only one truly unique bourbon. Okay. This is Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, partially finished in wine and sherry casks. That is different for a bourbon, eh? Uh, is it... Is it allowed to be bourbon then? That's a good question. It does literally say bourbon on the bottle. Okay. But uh, maybe it was aged properly and all that in... Yeah, it's a, it's a tough question. Right, because I thought... Hmm, I thought there were some rules around you that. You can't I, add anything. I thought that's why um, like Angel's Envy isn't bourbon. For the same reasons, because it's like... Because it's finished in it's a different cast. I think it's cherry finished too. Yeah. Well, I don't right. know. We'll look it up later. <laughs> we're so not here to give you facts. No, we're here to give you uh, some tasty notes. Tasty notes. And, uh, right. You can watch us enjoy ourselves. That's right. And then when we do the full review, we might know more by then. We don't know. Uh, a little plastic tab here. That's nice. It looks like it's got a very cool cork. For a Jim Beam product, it's One got thing an exceptional core. On the top that it says that I forgot to mention is yes. Kentucky and Japan. And uh, what that means is Fred No, seventh generation, I believe, uh, maybe it's fourth generation, I don't know, uh, whiskey maker. <laughs> You're for, just making up generations. For, for Jim Beam, is uh, uh, he's the guy that was a part of this. And then uh, the master blender, one of the master blenders for. Beam Centauri in Japan. Yeah, they used to... Remember that old Jim Beam bottle had all the master yeah. blenders on it? All yeah, the yeah. no's? There was quite a few. There was quite a few, yeah. Uh, I don't know if seven, but anyway, it says... Uh, so on the side, it says, A bold Kentucky bourbon by master distiller Fred No, and then it says, Blended and refined by chief blender Shinji Fukuyo. Oh, so, cool. uh, yeah, it's uh, 47%. Great. Um... Yeah, I mean, let's. Uh, should I read the back? Let's pour it and then let's I'll. Let's pour it. Let it open up oh, a bit. Oh, yeah, oh. show the show the uncorking. I don't know. Am I in the, am I in the picture? Here we go. Good pop. Oh, great pop. Good love pop. it. And I love the uh, wide kind of brim of the the bottle. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. And nice color to this one. These are uh, these unboxings have slowly evolved into half-ass reviews. Us kind of doing mainly a, like a review, and then then we don't feel guilty when we actually review it like a year later, kind of thing. So Two weird legends, cork, eh? one bourbon. It's an awesome, weird looking nub, yeah, like a nipple cork. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it doesn't quite resemble. Uh, <laughs> Not mine, but no, you know, no, no, someone's. That's good. Okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> or, or never mind. <laughs> never mind. It's gonna say or. <laughs> you cut that out. <laughs> okay. Or anyone. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Um. Okay. Okay. Nice. Nice nose, quite still that nuttiness. Okay, but I'm getting a lot of um, that kind of uh, I don't know what that is. That's like almost plum. Yeah, it's definitely uh, I'm getting on the fruitier side. Dried of, uh, fruit, kind of that you sometimes got get with scotches, of course. Yeah, for sure. It's big for on that note for me, and then. It's actually even slightly, like, in a weird way, kind of has a maltiness to yeah. the nose. Oh, yeah. But also, almost more, almost more molasses-y than brown sugar, really. Yeah. Because there's something a bit, like, deeper and richer it's, about it and darker. And that probably has something to do with the 47% kind of oh, boosting be. that nose up a little bit. But, I mean, the underlying, once you kind of get past that, the underlying oh, that uh, notes are... <laughs> Similar to Jim Beam. <coughs> in the, I'm uh, getting the Jim Beam now, but it's yeah, kind of like it's Jim Beam there. with a zing. Yeah. 
Wait, Wait, you know what? Sorry, I, I interrupted you. Gonna I was just going to say that it's um, sherry cask, but also wine yeah. cask, which yeah. uh, we've found with the wine cask, often you get that uh, waxy candle smell. Right. Yeah, yeah. With red wine, anyway. Yeah, there's, okay. there's a slight... Uh, Honestly, this sounds weird, but a slight kind of brininess to it, which mm -hmm. I don't really experience in bourbon all that often. Hmm. Well, let's get into let's, it. Let's have a sip. Mine has a bit of a, like a wow. sizzle to it. It is. There's a little like on the finish or the up front. My, the entry for me had like uh, a sting to it. Yeah, I wonder, so this is our first whiskey of the day. Mm. Sometimes that can be the case, but well, I'm finding know, like there's like a, a... A sizzly zing in my mouth. Yeah, like almost a fizzy yeah. kind of thing. But it is big time almondy, or not almond, um, walnut. Yeah, some walnuts in there. Oh, big awesome. zing. It's fruit fly season. Fruit fly season, for sure. Um, and this one would attract the fruit flies because oh, it's sure. really nice. Oh, it's got a good sweetness to it. It's not overbearingly sweet. Still definitely a bourbon. Like it's very much a bourbon, but it has a, just a different influence to it. It's to not, me, it's arriving quite hot. Hmm. Like I'm getting heat and now I'm, it's like kind of, it's staying hot into my, into my chest -jular. I wonder if there's a, a rye in this, this, uh, bourbon. Some rye content probably. Yeah. Higher no. rye content. Um, I'm kinda, honestly quite liking it right away, personally. Um, here's the thing. Yeah. Do you know what it's reminding me of right now? Mm. Uh, something you like and I don't. Oh, it's probably reminding me of Baker's. Yes. Ah, okay. Think about it. Yeah. Think about it for a yeah. second. Give it a little... I think partly the percentage is helping me with it. I'm not finding it super um, like just like hot, 50 really, percent. but... Yeah, yeah, it's just like 57 or something. Yeah, something like that. It was 40-something, but... I wouldn't be surprised if it was from the same stock. Mm. There's like kind of a lemon, lemony thing on the end too, but a little bit of that walnut. Mm -hmm. I, I honestly quite like it. It's maybe not the best in the lineup of Jim Beam releases, but um, it's also just been opened and it could it sometimes takes time. That's what I'm curious about with this one is will it kind of like evolve and cool down a little bit mm -hmm. as we drink it down. Like, I could see this one, like, evolving into a really delicious bourbon. My first impression is I'm not loving it. I couldn't really see myself drinking more than this one glass right now. Oh, okay. Uh, but, again, it's one of those ones, though, I feel that has a, a lot of potential. But right now it's just a bit hot for me, and it's got a bit of sweet but it also has like a little bit of a bitter bite to it there's something sharp about this one too. it is a little it? sharp it is yeah. a little sharp it's kind of like the rind of a lemon too where it's yeah like a, a bitterness to it but one thing we just recently uh drank um the duke whiskey again yep. Yep. bourbon and we haven't had it for probably like three years or something like that yeah and uh we used to say we hated it yeah and I really liked it this this time around. And so it's gone down a lot in a couple of years. Evolution, man. Evolution. Yeah. Evolution in the bottle. So anyway, first impressions are kind of mixed results. You're quite liking it. I'm quite mehing it. I'm liking it. But uh, I, honestly, when you say it's got like a, a tinny metallicness at the end, I'm finding. Fuck's sakes. I know. They're fucking everywhere. Um, and when you say you probably wouldn't be able to drink much of it. Yeah. I, I could kind of see that. Like, you might okay. get bored of the flavor a little bit. Mm. Anyway, um, first impressions, review to come. Yeah. Full review to come at some point. Um, we uh, have Patreon, and yeah. we will be, we have a dram club on Patreon, yes. where if you essentially donate $40 per month, we send you four good-sized samples yeah. of, uh, of good whiskeys, different whiskeys. This is going to be in there. Yep. Yeah. 
uh, just because it's different, it's interesting. We try to put some different interesting whiskeys in, yeah, in every time. Find, you know? Maybe it's not going to be the one that you love the most, but it's at least always going to have something a little bit unique about it, yeah. hopefully. And you support the channel. And you support uh, the channel because YouTube basically does nothing for us. <laughs> Anyways. Because YouTube does not support the channel. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's, that's right. Um, okay, so thank you again. Uh, hope to see you on Patreon. We do live streams yep. uh, just for them, so it's a lot of fun. Anyway, click subscribe, click Cheers. like, leave a comment. Granny and C, drinking whiskey, describing all the flavors for you and me. Irish, scotch, bourbon, and rye. If they like a bottle, they'll tell you why. Subscribe on YouTube.